Welcome back! Welcome... One second. Welcome back. Back in the day, people, men, the apex of people, used to have to learn how to do things like tie a tie. Uh, you know, back when they had real jobs, like total fucking schmucks. But nowadays, everybody's job is social media fitness guru. The gym is the new office. The cutoff is the new tie. So as a man, you're gonna have to learn how to make the perfect cutoff. So let Uncle Mazzetti show you how to be gainfully employed. That was gainfully employed, not gayfully employed. Now you're thinking to yourself, oh, you wanna make a sleeveless shirt? Simple enough, just cut the fucking sleeves off. And when you eat pussy, you just take a fork and knife and chow down, right? No, wrong. There's nuance to it. There's, there's strategy, there's romance and science. It's not like you eat an ass. You don't just shove your face in there like a pie eating contest where you fucking jerk yourself off. Like a butthole, right? Like that's, you, you just eat it. Like you just, there's one part to it, the hole. You just work right around there. There's nothing to it, man. That's why people eat ass these days, because it's easy. Because people these days are lazy. Think of a cutoff as a refined yet repressed lady who needs to be sexually unlocked. It's like the movie Pretty Woman, but in reverse. Where you take a sophisticated woman and you transform her into a beautiful whore. I'm a romantic kind of guy. Okay, now we're ready to start. But before we start, we're gonna start with some beginner mistakes to avoid. Okay, now, your first instinct is gonna be to just grab the shirt and hack off the sleeves right outside the seams here. This is the biggest fucking mistake you can make. When you cut off the sleeve outside the seam, you're gonna look like a middle-aged sack of potatoes who just built up the courage to wear his Under Armour compression shirt to the gym for the first fucking time. It will suffocate your chest and your lats and it will take the roundness right out of your fucking shoulders. And if you're natty like a bitch, then you're gonna want every ounce of roundness you can get. We establish you don't want to cut outside the seams, but you also don't want to cut too far in. Now you see, cutoffs are supposed to make you look broad. If you cut them off too far in, you're gonna end up looking like a penis with arms. Where'd you get that big baby dick? The next biggest mistake you can make is cutting too low. Now you're thinking, that's not a mistake at all. You can see my abs, you can see my lats, you can see my chest. Trust me, it's a mistake. Usually made by college gym noobs trying to show off whatever ounce of beginner gains they got. Placebo gains, those are sugar pills. They don't actually fucking count. When you cut too low, it looks like you're trying too hard. That is the fedora of the gym. The perfect cutoff should look like the sleeves just fell off the shirt. Or like it came that way. Not like you took some scissors to a perfectly good shirt and just cut them off. Out of the step by step. But first, a word from our sponsors. Since YouTube is removing the ads from my videos for not being brand friendly. <laughs> Every time you take Nart Pump, it's like getting a new car that only does 100 and never crashes. And when you hit the brakes, it only goes faster. <laughs> Go to brosubs.com to buy one. And get two. You are only going to get one canister, though. <laughs> Welcome back. Step number one. Find the right shirt at DomMerch.com. Make sure to buy three to four shirts in each color and design in case you fuck up, which you will. You can also buy this one, which comes with the sleeves pre-removed. We do the work for you here at DomMerch.com and also defeats the purpose of this video. Step number two, pink sock your own shirt. Turn it inside out. The reason you do this is because when you cut the shirt inside out, the edges will curl inside when you return the shirt inside in. If you don't and you cut the shirt outside out, the edges will curl out looking like bad pussy. You know, like, like big lips. Like too many towels stuffed into a hamper. Step three, um, lose this boner I just gave myself. Step four, make a small cut at the top of the seam, just inside the seam, right here. Just a small little, little snip, just so you can insert. Step number five, only cut one side of the sleeve at a time. Don't be a fucking hero, you're not Zorro. Step six, is you wanna just lightly stretch out the shirt 
to get a nice smooth cut. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with ragged edges and you're gonna look like a butt pirate. On a step seven, flip it over and do the back. Stretch it out, use your hips right there. Get your hips in there. And then we're getting close to step eight, which should be step number one. Remove the sleeve. Step number nine, repeat steps one through eight for the other sleeve. This is the start of a sleeveless shirt. You wear it like this, you're gonna look like a giant fucking pussy, okay? Do not, do not make the mistake of thinking you're done, putting this on, going to the gym, and being fucking laughed at, okay? Step 10, you gotta find the perfect depth to make the cutoff. The optimal depth for the cutoff is right below the lat insert. See right there? That lat insert, that's the optimal depth. Now the optimal depth for a lady, however, is eight inches. Gives me four extra inches to work with. Did you just say you have a four inch dick? No, I said my chick's got an eight inch pussy. There's a big fucking difference, dude. Step 11, lay the shirt out flat and spread that shit nice and tight. Now in lieu of obvious pussy, vagina, penis, and butthole jokes, I am gonna make none. I am gonna take the high road because I am a brand friendly YouTube account. Then you wanna measure about five, five inches down and cut in a nice smooth arc in motion, both sides at the same time, because fuck it, we're getting impatient, until you meet a nice arc into the sleeve. Make sure to grade it and just. Done. Look at that. Boom. Okay, step 12. Optional. Cutting the neck. Cutting the neck is like being circumcised. Do you need to do it? No. Would you rather your dick look like a skin missile than a poorly wrapped burrito? Yes. Did I need to make another dick joke? No. Was it worth losing my monetization for? Yes. What you wanna do is you wanna cut, you wanna taper from right under the collar, right here, right under the seam, and just taper it into the back. You don't wanna cut the whole thing off because then you look fucking sweet, okay? Now this is dangerous. You can instantly fuck up all your fucking work in one dumbass attempt at looking fucking cool. We're gonna need complete silence for this. Ah! Okay, so start cutting around the seam, okay? And then you wanna find your line and start tapering into it. Just like that. Not too steep. Not too shallow and just glide it in there. I'm going a little too deep, I think I fucked up. Just let it taper off. That looks fucking sexy, does that not? You wanna throw that shit in the dryer so it curls in, gets nice and tight. This is like baking the shit. All right, let's check on it. Oh, wow. What do you know? The fuck? <laughs> Looks like we're done. Now let's check out our handiwork here. Yeah, my friends, is cut off. Shit. 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 And on the last step, step 14. Get cut, get butt, get swole, get whole. Gain mass, eat ass. Make it cut off, get your nut off. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button, social security number. Not that it really fucking matters anyway, I'm not making money off this YouTube shit anymore anyway. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to dommerch.com. Keep your boy employed. Buy some of these shirts that you can uh, take home and then, you know, work on yourself. I also wrote a book a while back that I forgot about, so you guys can buy that too. 